Hi, and welcome back to our channel Summaries of a Bookworm. Your number one place for all who need or like to listen to book summaries. Let's start with the book summary of today. The three novellas in Sacred Families are all about the middle class. In the first one, Chattanooga Choo Choo, two couples who just met are at the center of the story. When Sylvia Corday, who is married to Ramon del Solar, has an affair with Magdalena's husband, Anselmo Prieto, their relationship grows into something more serious. On the night they make love, Anselmo notices that Sylvia has neither a face nor a pair of arms. When she asks for one, he makes one out of red paper for her. After they finish their affair, Anselmo realizes that an important part of his body is gone. In the next set of events, the reader learns that the wives have been playing a game in which they have taken their husband's body parts apart and put them in a briefcase. The women pay extra attention to this one important part of their husbands. They keep their husbands' penises in a small velvet bag and switch them out often. The second novella, Green Adam No. 5, is about a middle-aged couple named Roberto and Marta who just bought a brand new apartment. The apartment represents the fulfillment of their lifelong dream. They continue to fill the house with nice things. As a compromise to finish decorating, they put Green Adam No. 5, an oil painting by Roberto, on the wall near the front door. After a visitor leaves, they notice that the painting is no longer there, which is very strange. In a series of events, everything is taken away from them right in front of their eyes, and they can't do anything. After they lose everything, they get meaner and meaner to each other until they are naked and fighting like mad dogs. Gaspard de la Nuit, the third novella, is about Mauricio, who is going to spend three months with his mother, Sylvia. Since his parents split up seven years ago, he has been living with his father and grandmother, Abuelis. Mauricio doesn't like or agree with the way his mother lives, and he doesn't want to join the same group of people she does, which frustrates and upsets her. Instead, he goes out every day and walks around while whistling Gaspard de la Nuit by Maurice Ravel and looking for his soulmate. One day, he meets a wanderer about his age in a forest. He teaches the wanderer how to whistle the Ravel piece. He gets to know the vagabond well, and then something strange happens. Mauricio becomes the vagabond, and the vagabond becomes Mauricio. After that, things at home get much better because the new Mauricio accepts all the material things his mother had been trying to give him to keep him at home. Everyone is glad that Mauricio has changed his mind. Thank you for listening to our book summary. I hope we sparked your interest in the book. Please let us know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. Do you want to listen to more book summaries? Subscribe to us and you will get a notification every time we publish a new summary. Bye bye and see you next time.